So I'm a cancer biologist. Uh, we all know someone who's suffered from cancer, so it becomes a very personal thing. But we're really interested in specifically viruses and infectious diseases that cause cancer. Most people don't know that about a third of cancers are caused by a virus or an infectious disease. And the nice thing about that is we're pretty good at treating some of those. So we have a good inroads into new cancer therapies. So science can't be done without collaboration. The days of uh, me sitting in my lab doing my research are over. Uh, we can't get ahead quickly enough. So I have fantastic collaborations. I collaborate with WHO uh, in the Influenza Virus Reference Centre in Melbourne. We do our Hendra virus work uh, with the CSIRO. This is the spacesuit lab where people have to dress up in spacesuits to work with very deadly viruses like Hendra. We have collaborations with uh, industry. We have collaborations with other academics, both here in Queensland and all around Australia and around the world. I'm really very privileged and lucky to receive funding from the National Health and Medical Research Council and from the Cancer Council of Queensland. So for the NHMRC, our work is on uh, new treatments for viruses. It turns out that some of the treatments we're looking at for cancer also works on viruses. So we work with the um, University of Melbourne and the CSIRO to find new treatments for respiratory viruses. These are viruses that infect children uh, like RSV or influenza. And of course, Hendra is a specific Australian problem. So for our cancer work, we collaborate not only with the University of Queensland researchers, but uh, clinicians who are down at the Peter McCallum Cancer Institute and the Mata Mothers Hospital here in Brisbane. We need this group of, of people all together so that we can take our discoveries and we've discovered a new way to treat cervical cancer, which we think will cure it. And we need the clinician's involvement, where the patients are treated. These are the two hospitals that have the most patients for this disease, and we want to do our clinical trials with them, and also understand all the basic aspects about how this works. We all have expertise in our own areas, but that's not going to cut it anymore. You know, disease covers many, many disciplines, and not even at just one institution. At the Menzies Health Institute, we're fantastically lucky here at Griffith to have a wide range of expertise available to us to consult biostatistics, cancer, nursing, allied health, basic cancer research. But then again, we can go out to the world and science is a global exercise these days and we take advantage of all those opportunities that are available. I think if you're going to do a PhD, the Menzies Institute is a great place to do it. Uh, we not only have uh, researchers who have national grants and have funding to do it, um, but we have that connection with the hospital. The largest hospital in the Southern Hemisphere is right on our doorstep. We hold a lot of our seminars over there. Doctors come over to listen to what we have to do. There's a fantastic interaction. And you're gonna be able to get not only that clinical interface as well as your research interface. This is really gonna get you ahead. So my current research project at the moment is looking into developing novel therapies against, uh, antivir against virus pathogens and also cancers. Currently we have a collaboration with the World Health Organization um, Influenza Typing and Research Center, which they have a clinical basis in typing and looking at influenza um, nationally and around the world. And so that's helped our project in that we can see what's happening in the field and uh, develop our therapies specifically to those, what's happening right now. It's fantastic to have that sort of collaboration with um, those industry or um, institute partners as they have so much extra uh, wealth of knowledge to impart to you. Um, and they also generally know what's happening in the real world. And we can adapt that real world expertise into what we are trying to um, carry out in our research. It's that bridge between what we do in the lab and getting it out. So um, we can see what, how the patients um, we get a feel for the patient and what they're going through and also we can see what would benefit them the most. And then we take that back to the bench um, and we're able to adapt that to develop therapies and then um, that sort of fast tracks it to go from what we do here to the, the wider public and to help, the, to help patients who are really suffering from different diseases. My research project um, collaborates with two uh, institutions from Griffith. One is that School of Dentistry, another one is the School of Medical Science. Together we're trying to develop a novel therapy which would ultimately um, treat uh, the HPV positive head and neck cancer patients. The good part is that getting a complementary expertise from two of my supervisors from different fields which brings a great knowledge to different aspects of my research. I also have international collaboration with one of the renowned oncologists uh, from Bangladesh. So it also 
gives me an opportunity to uh, collect a different um, head and neck cancer tissue samples from Bangladesh. In addition, I also have collaboration with some of the pathologists uh, in Gold Coast University Hospital. Since the hospital is very close to our Griffith University, um, so it allows me also to come to the hospital and also uh, meet the patient, meet the doctors, and try to uh, get to know about the particular disease which I am working with. Uh, it is a great environment because you are getting uh, to communicate with the researcher and the clinician at the same time. So the advantage of being at Griffith is he gets the opportunity to travel, he's doing world-leading research and hopefully offer a therapy and a hope for the future.